Hello to BBC's Beautiful Birds of the Wild. This week we're doing a special edition on Turkey Vultures. There are lots of beautiful birds around the world, but the turkey vulture has always been one to fascinate me. The way that its muddy colors and gray just mixed together, it is magnificent. They may seem black far away, but up close, the turkey vultures are actually a lot of different colors with sometimes red on their head. Now, turkey vultures, as you know, are just like all the other New World vultures in the way that they tend to eat roadkill. It's very beautiful watching them as they swoop down to that dead cat that you just hit with your car and start eating its guts out. Now, as popular as these birds are for being in westerns, which is very American, these birds actually came from my homeland in Britain. Spanning all of Europe, they came eventually on ships and through different land masses and have now populated all of North America, spanning from northern Canada all the way down to southern Mexico, or Mexico, as our friends in the south like to call it. Turkey vultures don't build full nests. They may scrape out a spot in the soil or leaf litter, pull aside obstacles, or arrange scraps of vegetation or rotting wood. Once found, many of these nest sites may be used repeatedly for a decade or more. Oh, sorry, I did not see that. Now, turkey vultures voice is very interesting as it is not like normal birds. Normal bird sounds will sound like chirp 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 but with this they don't really have a sound box so they make it up by doing this. Like a snake that tends to ward off the predators that might be trying to attack them even though these birds are high up on the food chain. Now since they don't have a sound box and they just hiss, sometimes what they'll do is these demonic creatures will spit out some of their vomit and that's very acidy and will actually hurt their, their predators that are trying to attack them. Also, they can use this as a tactic to try to get their prey. The turkey vulture belongs to the family Cathartere and the altar Incertor Cetus and the class Aves and the phylum Cordata and the kingdom Animalia. The turkey vulture uses its sense of smell to locate carrion. The part of its brain responsible for processing smells is particularly large compared to other birds. Its heightened ability to detect odors allows it to find dead animals below a forest canopy. The turkey vulture maintains stability and lift at low altitudes by holding its wings up in a slight V-shape and teetering from side to side while flying. It flies low to the ground to pick up the scent of dead animals. Not everyone sees vultures as a creepy harbinger of death. Many see them as sacred for the cleanup role. Tibetan Buddhists practice sky burials where animals, usually vultures, consume their dead. Similarly, Zoroastrians offer their dead to be consumed by vultures on a raised platform called a Dakham. They regard vultures as precious animals that release the soul from the body. However, in parts of urban India, where vultures have become scarce because of accidental poisoning by a livestock anti-inflammatory drug, not enough vultures remain to meet the demand and some people have turned to burial. Turkey vultures eat carrion, which, is f which they find largely by their excellent sense of smell. Mostly, they eat mammals, but are not above snacking on reptiles, other birds, amphibians, fish, and even invertebrates. They prefer freshly dead animals, but often have to wait for their meal to soften in order to pierce the skin. They are deaf forgers, targeting the softest bits first, and are even known to leave aside the scent glands of dead skunks. Turkey vultures are common around open areas such as roadsides, suburbs, farm fields, countryside, and food sources such as landfills, trash heaps, and construction sites. 
thank you for tuning in to this week's edition of Beautiful Birds of the Wild. My name is Bear Gorillas, and I will see you guys next week as we tackle another beautiful bird. Ugh.